gentlemen, I hope you're having a great week so far, and I'm so excited to join you for this week's character coaching session. Our word this week is encourage. But before we get into this week's word, let's check out Kingdom Sports Minute with assistant football coach from the University of Nebraska, Coach Ron Brown. Coaches that inspire. There's nothing like a great coach. And I can trace my background and growing up where I did uh, my basketball coach in high school, Coach Schofield, uh, got a hold of me when I was in the sixth grade. He did little things with me. He took me out to the basketball court. He actually got a pair of sunglasses, knocked them out, put tape on the bottom of the sunglasses, and made me wear them. And when I dribbled the ball, I couldn't look down to see the ball. I couldn't find the ball. I had to learn how to dribble without seeing the ball. <laughs> he did all kinds of crazy, creative things to get me to be a better athlete. But as I think about men like that, I think, wow, that has inspired me to want to do things in my life to develop the skill set that I need to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. When it comes to reading His Word and being a doer of the Word and even applying it to sports, uh, I'm inspired because of men like Coach Schofield. i to share a quote from you from Pastor Craig Rochelle. He is the senior executive pastor for Life Church. He says this, just about everybody that you encounter is often going through something that may not be obvious from the outside, but they're facing a battle on the inside. Everyone that you come across is facing some type of battle in their life. I hope that you'll embrace that you have no idea what God might do through a single word of encouragement. You have no idea how God could use you to offer someone hope, to build someone's faith. I don't know about you, but there is so much negativity in the world today. I can't open up my social media feed without being discouraged. I can't read a news app without being depressed. I can't talk to people with all the heartbreaking news of the world without being disheartened. And so many people in a polarized world can be so incredibly critical, so undeniably hateful. I think it's time that we as believers step in and lift others up, bring words of hope, bring words of encouragement, because the words we speak are filled with power. Our words can build up or our words can crush. In fact, scripture says in Proverbs that the tongue has the power of life and of death. I want my words to build your faith, to strengthen your confidence, to believe that God is for you, that he's with you that he'll never leave you, he'll never forsake you. He's working in you. If it were up to me, I would encourage you and build your faith because everyone you see is facing a battle that you don't know anything about. Great words there from Pastor Craig Rochelle. I'd like to share with you three ways to encourage others. One, choose your words wisely. Remember, your words give life and take life. They can build up or they can crush. Two, choose to give of your time. Taking the time to speak one word of encouragement may change that person's day, giving them hope. I experience that every single day of my life, guys. Someone says something to me that just lifts my spirits, gives me hope, um, adds on to the positivity in my life. And three, choose to break away from the negativity. The more time you spend reading, listening, and watching positive things, the more positivity you will have to give. It's tough, I get it, gentlemen. Lots of negativity going on in our world today, but let's choose to be positive. Let's choose to be positive to our teammates. Begin today, Branson Pirates, to build encouragement with your team and teammates by your words, your actions, and your choices. Best of luck on Friday. I'll see you soon.